I remember clearly the fall afternoon that I sat down with my dean in her office, waiting for what would turn out to be a very important meeting. I had only recently returned to Stanford University from England, where I was the Marie Curie Professor for Mathematics Education. I was still getting used to the change from the grey cloudy skies that seemed to be my constant companion during the three years I was on the Sussex coast in England, to the sunshine that shines down on Stanford's campus almost continuously. I walked into the Dean's office that day with some anticipation, as I was going to meet Carol Dweck for the first time. I was a little nervous to meet the famous researcher, whose books on mindset had revolutionised people's lives across continents, and whose work had moved governments, schools, parents, and even leading sports teams to approach life and learning differently. Carol and her research teams have collected data over many years that support a clear finding, that everyone has a mindset, a core belief about how they learn. People with a growth mindset are those who believe that smartness increases with hard work, whereas those with a fixed mindset believe that you can learn things, but you can't change your basic level of intelligence. Mindsets are critically important because research has shown that they lead to different learning behaviours, which in turn create different learning outcomes for students. When people change their mindsets and start to believe that they can learn to high levels, they change their learning pathways and achieve at high levels, as I will share in this book. In our conversation that day, I asked Carol if she had thought about working with mathematics teachers as well as students, because I knew that mindset interventions given to students help them, but math teachers have the potential to deeply impact students' learning in a sustained way over time. Carol responded enthusiastically and agreed with me that math was the subject most in need of a mindset makeover. That was the first of what would become many enjoyable conversations and collaborations over the next four years, which now include our working together on shared research projects with math teachers and presenting our research and ideas to them in workshops. My work on mindset and math over recent years has helped me develop a deep appreciation of the need to teach students about mindset inside mathematics, rather than in general. Students have such strong and often negative ideas about math that they can develop a growth mindset about everything else in their life, but still believe that you can either achieve highly in math or you can't. To change these damaging beliefs, students need to develop mathematical mindsets, and this book will teach you ways to encourage them. The fixed mindsets that many people hold about mathematics often combine with other negative beliefs about mathematics to devastating effect. This is why it is so important to share with learners the new knowledge we have of mathematics and learning that I set out in this book. 